12 year old cat and his adopted goldfish brother. Now those are some characters. Of course we are talking about Gumball and Darwin Watterson from the city of Elmore. I'm Emily and today at Channel Frederator we are giving you 107 facts about the amazing world of Gumball. <laughs> Number 1. The Watterson's last name is a reference to Bill Watterson, creator of Calvin and Hobbes. Number two, in the episode, The Ghost, a possessed gumball is a reference to the detox hallucination baby from the film, Train Spotty. Number three, in Japan, gumball is voiced by Junko Takayuchi. If the name sounds familiar, she's also the voice of Naruto Uzumaki. Number four, a lot of the characters are rejected advertising mascots from Ben Boclet's portfolio. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Number five, Gumball takes more time to create than the average cartoon because of its multimedia format. This is why the time between episodes can be anywhere from three weeks to a few months. Number six. The show was originally going to be about a remedial school for rejected cartoon characters. Number seven. In Richard's early concept designs, he was a blue dog, which is hard to imagine because he makes such a cute rabbit. Number eight. Gumball's undergone several transformations through development. Originally, he was designed as a blue dog. Then he was switched to an unlucky black cat. And then for his final design, he became the blue cat we all know and love. Number nine, Anise, Richard, and Nicole are caricatured versions of Ben Boclet's own family members. Number 10, Gumball is Boclet's own caricature of himself as a kid. He described himself as a bit of an idiot. Number 11, Principal Brown and Miss Simeon are in a relationship. This is supported by the episodes The Sock, The Lesson, and The Burden. Number 12, the episode The Sweaters you will lose. is a Karate Kid parody. Number 13, Ben Boclet didn't think the world of Gumball would be successful, but it's gone to win several awards internationally. Number 14, the word nipples has been said on the show numerous times, despite its TV Y7 rating. Adventure Time has a more mature rating of TV PG, and they can't even say it. Number 15, the movie Alligators on a Train is a reference to Snakes on a Plane. Number 16, it's been revealed that Gumball was originally just a nickname. His real name was Zack but it caused him to create a terrible alter ego, so they legally changed it. Number 17. Gumball's middle name was supposed to be Christopher, but his dad confused it for Tristopher. Number 18. In an early reel of the show, Gumball was voiced by Nikki Jones, the voice actor for Chowder. He was subsequently replaced by Logan Grove, then by Jacob Hopkins. Number 19. Despite his vocal talent and skill with the ukulele, I wanna study with your daughter. Gumball is failing music class. Number 20. Darwin was originally designed for a show about mythical creatures hidden in a kid's backyard. The show was never made, but Boclet liked the design so much he put him in the world of Gumball. Number 21. Gumball and Darwin are the only characters to appear in every episode. Number 22. Darwin's name is a reference to the scientist Charles Darwin. A Darwin fish, or a fish with legs, is a symbol for Darwinism. Number 23. Darwin was originally going to be a CGI animated character, but this was scrapped due to various difficulties. Number 24. Darwin was inspired by Ben's childhood friend, Paul. Number 25. Darwin can break glass with his high-pitched screams. <coughs> Number 26. Darwin's full name is the longest in the show. Darwin Raglan Caspian Ahab Poseidon Nicodemius Watterson III. Now that's a mouthful. Number 27. Nicole is implied to be the strongest character on the show. She can easily defeat Mr. Rex and even a mob of angry citizens. <laughs> Not to mention her heat vision. <laughs> Number 28. Nicole has been arrested multiple times. Two charges include robbing a store with a hot dog wiener and stealing her own car. There is also an episode in development about her shady past. Number 29. Richard cannot hold a job, or else the universe will be destroyed. Here I am, I got a J-O-B! Number 30. Richard is responsible for the family's financial troubles because he spent all of their savings on a star, which then later died. Number 31. Despite wearing a peanut shell, Penny is allergic to peanuts. Number 32. The show was named Gumball before the main character was even created. Number 33. Ben Boclet is allergic to cats. Number 34, Ben Boclet's favorite character is Susie. Ah! Maybe because her face is portrayed by Boclet's girlfriend, 
Arlie Charbonnet. Number 35. Miss Simeon has been teaching since the Stone Age. That's 300,000 years. Number 36. Miss Simeon's first name is a reference to Lucy, the first hominid to walk upright. Number 37. Every episode has the in the title, except for the two holiday episodes, Halloween and Christmas. Number 38. In season two, Rocky's Bisou shirt is a reference to the band Kiss. This is because Bisou means kiss in French. Number 39. Gumball is Cartoon Network UK's first original series. Number 40. Ben Boclet voices Susie's wailing, screaming, and laughter. Number 41. In the episode The Shell, Penny comes out of her shell, revealing that she is a fairy-like shapeshifter who changes form based on her emotions. And she no longer lives in her shell after this episode. Number 42. Penny's Medusa form is cut from episodes in certain countries. Number 43. It took Darwin several years to understand human facial expressions. Number 44. The episode The Shell was largely inspired by Hayao Miyazaki. When Penny morphs into a dragon, it is a reference to Haku in his dragon form from Spirited Away. Number 45. The front doors of Elmore Junior High match the colors of the Watterson children. Number 46. Elmore Junior High's mascot is a duck. Ducks fly together! Number 47. The live action pictures of the school are from Abraham Lincoln High School in San Francisco. Number 48. The Victorian style homes in the town resemble houses in Vallejo, California. Number 49. Nicole, Richard, and other adults in the show went to the same school that their kids currently attend. Number 50. Darwin is registered as a pet fish instead of a student at the school. Does that mean he gets a different degree? Number 51. The three-eyed smiley face on Miss Simeon's door is a reference to the 2001 film Evolution. Number 52. Despite being 10 years old, Darwin is a seventh grader, just like Gumball. Number 53. There is a club at Elmore Junior High called the Reject Club. I guess that's one way to make sure that everybody has a place to fit in. Number 54. Elmore is inspired by Vallejo, California and the setting of the show has been confirmed to be located in California. Number 55. Elmore is geographically surrounded by large bodies of water that require large bridges to cross. Number 56. Elmore has a second dimension known as the void where all of its mistakes end up. Number 57. Mr. Small's first name, Steve, came from his own designer. Number 58. Mr. Small's appearances are usually preceded by the strum of a sitar. Number 59. The Robinsons are inspired by the Muppets. Though they resemble real puppets, don't be fooled. They are actually animated in CGI. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't watched it. Number 60. Tina's design is inspired by the T-Rexes from King Kong and Jurassic Park. Number 61. Carrie's 3D anaglyph outline is a reference to old B horror movies that were occasionally in 3D. Number 62. Carrie Krueger's name is a reference to two famous horror movie icons, Carrie and Freddy Krueger. Number 63. Carrie was born a ghost and is the child of Vladis Lukowitschki. Number 64. Carrie's reflection doesn't show up in mirrors, but if she possesses someone, her reflection will replace that of the person she is possessing. Number 65. Harry was possessed by the jealousy spirit in the episode The Flower, which means a ghost can be possessed by another spirit. Number 66. Richard is a pacifist, while Nicole is a fighter. Number 67. Carrie's early designs look like Boo from the Mario Brothers. Number 68. Richard is so lazy because his mother sheltered him from any problems and gave him snacks. Her overprotective nature is a product of Richard's father leaving them when he was young. Number 69. Hector's name uses the prefix hecto, the factor of a hundred. His last name is a reference to the Norse word Jotunheimr, the homeland of the giants. Number 70. Tobias can change colors at will. Number 71. Tobias's mom and sister also have headbands. Number 72. Tobias is named after one of the show's writers, Toby Wilson. A worthy foe. Number 73. Mrs. Jotunheim was inspired by Yubaba from Spirited Away. Their designs are similar and they both have giant, potentially destructive sons. Number 74. Evil Turtle's death is a reference to Ben Boclet's own pet turtle dying of dehydration. It's because we couldn't take care of him. Number 75. Donut Sheriff has a craving to eat donuts, despite being a donut. Isn't that technically cannibalism? <laughs> God! Number 76. Alan and Carmen like each other and are going out, but their love can never be. Why? Because he's a balloon and she's a cactus. You do the math. 
something's gonna pop. Number 77. After Rob escaped the void, his design was altered to be much more low res. His head is polygonal, his face occasionally turns to static, and one of his feet is a wireframe. Number 78. In The Nobody, Rob swears vengeance on Gumball and Darwin after they ignored him in the void, becoming their arch nemesis for future episodes. Number 79. It's implied that Idaho's family is based on the Amish, and that Idaho is in Elmore for the Amish rite of passage, Rumspringa. Number 80. In the episode The Finale, it's revealed that Larry has taken on a multitude of jobs in order to pay for the damages that were caused by the Watersons. No wonder he doesn't like them. Number 81. Larry works at Laser Video, Elmore Gas Station, Food & Stuff, Joyful Burger, Shoe Store, Ripley 2000, Fervidus Pizza, Elmore Shopping, and is also an accountant, ice cream vendor, pest controller, and a repairman. If Larry ever stops working, the entire economic structure of Elmore would collapse. Number 82. In The Banana, it's revealed that Banana Joe's eyes and mouth can be removed and stuck back on, so he has a whole closet of spares. Number 83. Banana Joe has a Banana in the Barbarian poster in his room. Number 84. Banana Joe's personality and appearance are inspired by the term top banana. Number 85. Gumball looks like Nicole, but behaves like Richard, while Anise looks like Richard and has a personality similar to Nicole. Number 86. The inspiration for Anise is Ben Buckleet's own sister, Anise, who is a computer programmer in real life. Number 87. Anise is one of the more mature and intelligent members of her family. She even makes Gumball and Darwin breakfast in the morning. Number 88. The live action location shots used in the show are filmed mainly in California, New York, and the UK. Number 89. Creator Ben Boclet cites Who Framed Roger Rabbit as an inspiration for the mixed media approach to the show. Number 90. Gumball and Darwin's Make the Most of It rap sneaks in a subtle reference to Brad Neely's famous George Washington rap. On a horse made of crystal. Seen on the water castle in a sea was made of crystal. Number 91. The show's executive producer, Daniel Leonard, considers The Amazing World of Gumball to be the ultimate boys show. I like your eyes. Number 92. Much of the 3D rendering work on Gumball is done at Studio Soy, an animation studio in Ludwigsburg, Germany. Number 93. Other 2D and 3D animation work not completed at Studio Soy is completed by Boulder Media, an animation company based in Dublin, Ireland. Number 94. Gumball is produced as a storyboard-driven show, meaning that its storyboard artists do not work from a script, but rather a loose story outline. Boclet attributes the show's spontaneity to this. Number 95. Gumball's classmate, William the Flying Eyeball, is not only a tattletale snitch, but he even resembles a golden snitch from the Harry Potter series. Number 96. The character Neckbeard bears an uncanny resemblance to Pokemon's Pikachu. Number 97. The official Gumball comics published by Boom Studios ran for a total of eight issues before cancellation. Number 98. The G is the first Gumball episode in which Darwin is seen wearing pants. Number 99. Carlton, Troy, Santa Claus, and Mr. Crease are the only human characters to appear in the series. Number 100. Originally, Troy, Carlton, and Mr. Crease were going to be animals. Troy was a bird, Carlton was a dog, and Mr. Crease was a beaver. Number 101. Despite being a suburban neighborhood, Elmore has its own airline, which is renowned for its lack of legroom. Number 102. Gumball has been admitted to the hospital more times than any other character in the series. Yay! Number 103. Gumball, Darwin, Tina, and Penny are all playable characters in the Cartoon Network MMO Project Exonaut. Number 104. There are over 50 original songs sung throughout the Gumball series. Number 105. Susie, her parents, and the butterfly are the only characters in Gumball that utilize live action actors. Number 106. <gasps> Darwin is revealed to be allergic to feathers in the episode The Allergy. Number 107. According to the episode The Game, Darwin is the third fish named Darwin to be owned by the Watersons. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like it so we know that you liked it. Sound off in the comment section below and let us know which 107 facts we should do next. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, Frederator loves you.